All right, so here's a video I'm going to do explaining the Honda Rescue Garage lift and what I got on there, okay? So, as far as the lift goes, I have a one and a half inch HRD, HRG spacer in the front. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I have the True Heart um, control arm and camber kit with the Aerogenic spacer. As you can see right on there. You can see it's hit right up here a little bit. Not too much. Uh, hasn't caused any problems driving or anything. And you see the angle of the ball joint is a lot less aggressive now. Now when you go full flex, it still um, is pretty aggressive. Gives a little bit of a, a strain, but nothing uh, nowhere near what it used to be. Um, you can also see got brand new springs and struts right here from TRQ. I ordered these off eBay. Hell of a deal. I think it was like 180 bucks, 190 uh, lifetime warranty. Another thing with the um, spacers from Aerogenics is the control arm will no longer hit your spring. A lot of people don't realize that when it comes down full flex, it's that big thunk you hear and uh, issue. And uh, you will notice that if you go off-roading or around anywhere. And then you can see right up there in the fender wheel where it barely taps sometimes because of that spacer. Uh, like I said, barely. It doesn't even cause an issue there. Um, I did brand new Napa axles from, uh, well, from Napa. Uh, I highly recommend them. I went through many issues with the Vance and AutoZone. Um, I didn't try O'Reilly's, but I heard it's the same thing. So, you know, we did all new suspension components, and I can get into that into another video. It's mainly about the lift. Um, but as you can see right there, there's one of the one-inch spacers for um, the the drop, the subframe drop kit. And you can see right there in the um, torque mount, that's on each side. Um, Let's see. Go further down here. Bear with me with the video because I'm going to have to be doing a lot of moving. So you can see more of the subframe kit. So I, I can't say enough of how much I highly recommend uh, Ben. He, the guy is amazing, HRG, and he will always help out. And they thoroughly uh, work together with him, testing everything. Anything I needed, he was right there for. And his customer service is just amazing. And the product is great. Um, you can see right there for the loop. I got it now. He told me, you know, you know, it's normally need one of these and you can stretch it and be able to. So I haven't tried that, but I'm actually missing my back loop. Uh, it was gone when I when I bought this. I'm second owner. I don't know what the first owner did with this. So for now, I just got those two in it. Keeps me from losing it. Um, later, if I find that second loop, I'll do it the way he said. Uh, for the drive shaft being dropped right there you can see um, another thing is I want a quick point I'll make a different video on the Unaka exhaust and the uh, 1320 total style header but even with this drop subframe kit everything still reaches well uh, the O2 sensor uh, has still a little bit of slack um, as you can see the drive shaft doesn't hit the exhaust uh, it doesn't even hit it you know shifting um, on flex or anything so I did not put extended hangers or anything, so I mean that's something you could do if needed be. I did not have to do it yet. Um, so we did an inch and a half, I believe, on the trailing arm. That's something we did later added. Made a big difference with creating space between the trailing arm and your tire. Now I already did cut originally when I had a two inch lift before I even did the HRG lift. So I did do some trimming. but. With this, if I had all terrains, I doubt I would even have to do any trimming. I um, cannot say enough about uh, the True Heart tow kit. If you have this lift, if you're lifted above three inches, you will need a tow kit no matter what. Um, you can get away with it, but you're never going to get your toe straight uh, and it will not sit right. As you can see, the new axles also in the rear. These are GSP axles or GPS or something like that off of uh, eBay. They've worked great so far. I did them on my wife's CRV also. 
I had them in there all winter uh, for over a year on hers, no problems. Um, you can see right by the exhaust up there, uh, you can see the subframe kit over here. You can see it on differential. So that's all for the rear to drop. It's uh, obviously two points over there. Uh, you kind of see it right there. Um, two points on the passenger driver that it um, mates up to and then also the differential. You can see the True Heart Camber Kit. Uh, that is absolutely a must if you want to have it sit right. Um, again, you can get away with all these things, but you're not going to be inspected and it's not going to be a uh, very nice uh, drive on the road. There's a two inch and a half, two and a half inch spacer kit um, from HRG in the rear there. And I'll back up and give you a view of how everything sits right now. Now this is my second setup. I'll explain my first setup that was a little bit lower with almost all of the same parts. But um, one thing I learned is, trust me guys on this, if you really want to build this thing, you know, a CRV first gen, and have it reliable and also fun and have some good flex in it, do your springs and struts first. Do OEM, do aftermarket, do whatever you want, but trust me on, on doing those first. Um, and go with off-road struts or at least OEM length. Uh, I did sports struts first time, and I'll explain later in a different video about how that wasn't horrible, but it just wasn't best for off-road, obviously and I had to use much bigger spacers. But here you can see the transmission mounts for the drop. And then you can also see over here, it's very hard to see, but you can see the engine mount subframe drop kit here. Uh, so there's a few other places that I didn't get in the video, but I can also take pictures. Um, I'm gonna spread this video apart uh, a little bit on Instagram and then put the full amount on YouTube. So. There'll be more.